Good morning, people of God. It's Seth with Healthy and Whole Men Pray. I'm so happy that you've joined me this morning. And I'm so very excited because tomorrow's my birthday and my son got me a shirt. Here it is, a dad that prays. I'm so excited about the shirt because at this age, I discovered that my father prayed in the same way. And it is wonderful to have that same legacy being built uh, upon my own son. So thank you, Landon, for my beautiful shirt. And I hope that you've had a wonderful week this week. And I am grateful to join you once again, just to go before the throne of grace in prayer this morning. I want to pray uh, regarding a very serious issue today. I was thinking over this week and I feel that God has given me this a few days at a time, and I, I feel as though it's something that we're dealing with in our world and in our country, and that is mental health and mental illness. Uh, of course, they're seen very differently. However, mental health is something that when we feel like we're overwhelmed, when we feel like uh, there's too much on our plate, we begin to fret, begin to worry, and ultimately it affects our health. And then the mental illness, one in five Americans are affected by mental illness. And the reality of this is, is that that can come from trauma, abuse, addiction, uh, any of those things, uh, mental disorders. So the reality of it is, is that we are here to pray regarding those things. And we want God to move on those uh, that are affected by this terrible disease. And the reality of it is, I believe that God will still, he can still bless our minds. He can still bless our hearts. So I want to base this in uh, Psalms 34 and 17, and I just want to kind of read through the scripture with you before I pray. Um, it's the Lord heareth our cry and deliver us out of trouble. Uh, he even said uh, that he is very near and dear to the brokenhearted. Again, that's Psalms 34, 17, that our God hear us and he will deliver us, those that cry out to him. And the reality of it is, is that those that of us that are brokenhearted, that he is near and dear to us. Father God, we just appreciate you, O oh God, for your word. And we thank you for your strength this morning, God. We appreciate you for who you are and whose we are, God. We stand on your word of thankfulness. And God, as we come before your presence with thanksgiving this morning, God, we just give up to you. God, we don't come asking you for anything this morning, God. We just want to worship you and we want to praise you because you are good and you are God. God, have your way in and through us, God. And when we think about this week, we are grateful for what you've done. Lord, you've brought us across the dangerous highways, oh God. You've taken us into places, oh God, where where robberies were going on, where shootings were going on. We didn't even know. But God, you chose to protect us. And God, for that, we say thank you. Thank you for being a God that answers prayers. Thank you for being a God that will give us strength in our body. Thank you for get, uh, being a God that will give us peace uh, and understanding, oh God. Lord, even as we pray today, oh God, I pray that you will forgive us of any sins, God. We don't want any sins to hinder who we are in you or in Christ. And so, oh God, we ask that you will forgive us of those sins. And God, that you will bless us, oh God, to once we come into the knowledge of whatever that sin is, that we will do better because we know better. God, we appreciate you, oh God, for your word. And God, we appreciate you for how you have given this record, this book, this Bible that you've left for us, oh God, so we can read and understand more of you, oh God. And as we come into the knowledge of you this morning, and God, even coming into the knowledge of you day by day, God, I pray that we will keep our focus upon you, God, that we will keep our heart stayed upon you, O oh God. And God, we just give you glory and we give you praise for all that you're doing and all that you will do. And God, we appreciate you for strength. God, we thank you for who you are. And God, Lord, we're, we're choosing to stand on your word. We're choosing, hallelujah. We're choosing to take you at your word because we know that it has not changed. God, it is the same yesterday and it is the same today and forevermore, God. So we say, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, oh God. Lord, we're going to take you at your word, oh God, even as we uplift those that have mental illness, oh God, those that have mental health challenges, God, we're taking you at your word, that we're going to stand upon your word and that we're going to focus on these things that are true, oh God, those things that are of good report that we're not going to take down just because we see our family and friends uh, that, that are being affected, oh God, and even some of us, oh God, that are being overwhelmed, God, we're going going to look, hallelujah, yes, 
to those that we know that can help us, God. We're going to look to Christ, oh God. We're going to look to you to uplift us in those downtrodden times, God. We're not going to lose hope, but we're going to keep our minds stayed upon you, oh God. And as we keep our minds stayed upon you, God, we're going we're gonna to claim deliverance, oh God. We're going to claim that we are being set free. We're going to claim that we're in the new, uh, just a new realm of you, oh God, in a new uh, opportunity of you. God, I, I, I even read in your word, um, as, as I even thought about this, this whole uh, thought process as it relates to mental health and mental illness, God. God, even that the, the scripture that I read in Psalms, that David was on the run at the time, oh God. And God, he was on the run from the Philistines, oh God, and he was even hiding, oh God, from uh, them, oh God, and trying to run. And Lord, and I can see in our hearts and in our minds, even today, God, we're running from something. We're hiding from something, God, that caused us to go into these places, God. We're we're feeling isolations, oh God. We're, we're trying to self-medicate with drugs, oh God. We're running from something, oh God. Lord, even as he ran, God, he had the know-how, the thought process to say, Lord, he hear you. He, he heard you and he wanted to praise you. And God, I pray this morning that you will hear our cry. Hallelujah. That you will hear the things that we're saying to you, oh God, in those moments where we've lost all that we've given up, oh God, and that we've focused on trying to figure out what's going on in and through our lives, but we just don't know. God, I'm praying for that one that says, you know what, Seth, I, I'm giving up hope. Uh, I believe that suicide is the way. And God, I pray this morning that you will bless, hallelujah, that you will strengthen and that you will give your peace. God, there is a, a true adversary out there that is trying to get us to go down places that we know not of, that that's trying to trap us so we will give up on life. God, I'm praying this morning, hallelujah, that you will give peace, oh God, that your grace will rest upon those that are weary, oh God, that you will give focus, oh God, even now, those that even hear uh, this message, this prayer, oh God, that they will find the help that they need in order to fulfill the purpose that you've given them to fulfill. God, let them know that there is hope, that there is peace in you, oh God. But God, they have to replace those thoughts with positive thoughts. And God, if they can't replace them, God, they got to find the personnel and those that will help them, oh God, in these areas. God, I pray that we will check on our friends. I pray that you will, you will give us to reach out to those that we think that are strong, oh God. Those that, um, though, that looks like they have it all together, that they don't talk much, oh God. Lord, that we, as the people of God, that are, are saturated in your word, God, that we will begin to reach out, that we begin to send the text message, that we begin to do those things that will help the people of God, that will help your people, God, so they can see you more clearly, God. God, you said you will give us rest in Matthew, oh God, when we're overwhelmed. So God, we're praying, hallelujah, that you will give rest to your people today, oh God, those that are just overwhelmed with life, hallelujah, that just want to end it all. God, I pray that you will help them to look towards you, oh God, that you will change their hearts today, oh God, and that you will focus upon them. God, remind us that we have peace in God. God, hallelujah. Remind us that we have peace in you. God, remind them even in those isolated moments that there's still peace, oh God, that, that still small voice, oh God. I pray that it is there. Yes, Lord Jesus. Even in those moments of desolate times, Lord, God, that you will show yourself strong and that you will show yourself mighty, even in those moments, God, that there will, hallelujah, be testimony, Lord Jesus, of those that were once mentally ill, and now they've come into the knowledge of you because a person spoke into their life, oh God, that they, that they found uh, understanding in their life, God, that they found a moment of help, oh God. Lord, I'm praying for that one, hallelujah.
God, remind us that there is peace in you, God. Remind us that you have overcome this world. Yes, Lord Jesus. God, help us to understand that there's no good thing that you will withhold from your people if we line up with you, oh God. But Lord, help those that are troubled know that you have overcome this world. And God, that you, not only that you've overcome the world, oh God, but you're there to deliver them into a place of their destiny of truth and understanding. God, do it for your glory today, oh God. Inspire your people today, oh God. Focus them in a different way, oh God. You are the God of peace, God. So we don't have to be anxious, uh, Lord. We don't have to be worried about a pandemic. We don't have to be worried about the job. Lord, we just need to trust in the one that holds the entire world in his hand. Lord, I remember even singing a song as a child that you have the whole world in your hand. You have the whole world in your hand. So I don't have to worry about anything, God, because I can trust in you, the one that owns everything, oh God. And you have given us dominion and God, that you will speak into a man's life and order them to bless your people, oh God. Do it today, oh God. Lord, I pray that not, not only physical, not only tangible blessings, oh God, but prayers that will go up for those that are in need today, oh God. Lord, let that be testimony, God, that I pray for my brother. Hallelujah. I pray for my sister. And you heard my cry. And since you heard my cry, the lives, the seed has been planted and the lives are being changed, oh God. Lord, that's really the wealth that we need today, oh God. That We don't have to have more things. Lord, we just need more of you. And God, if you give us more of you, I believe that our lives not only will be changed, but we will affect everything and everyone that is around us, oh God. Lord, encourage your peoples to focus on the good things. And God, as we focus on the good things, God, I pray that you will begin to magnify us, oh God, that you will begin to do a, a new thing, a new work in and through us. Have your way today, oh God. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. God, even the people of God become discouraged. I think of Elijah. Elijah was uh, one that was appointed, uh, appointed prophet of you, O oh God. And in 1 Kings 18, we find that he called fire down from heaven. And Lord, as he called the fire down from heaven, that he made mockery of those uh, other guys, those 400 and plus guys that that were soothsayers, that, that knew and that worshiped Baal, oh God. But he was one that was a true worshiper of you. And God, even Elijah that did this miraculous work, calling fire from heaven, hallelujah. He became discouraged. He even says it in chapter 19, oh God. That he was discouraged simply because uh, the children of Israel were beginning to worship Baal. And he he knew that they were coming after him, oh God. So he became worried. He got he became worried too, that he became suicidal. Hallelujah. Even the prophet of God became suicidal. He said, Lord, take my life. Because if you don't, oh God, they're going to do it. Father God, and you had to even quicken him to understand, hallelujah, that you were still with him, oh God. So the the, the wind came, the, the earthquake came, and all of those moments, oh God, as he continued to escape. And in that still, small voice, you encouraged him, oh God. You even asked him, why was he there? God, that you, you empowered him, oh God. You inspired him to go and uh, anoint the next king, oh God, to, to go and do the work of Christ, oh God. God, do it again. God, when we feel like all is lost, oh God, let us know that you are just a small, still voice away. Hallelujah. And that you will encourage us if we keep our mind and state upon you. And the moral of the rest of that story is that Elijah found out from Christ, hallelujah, that there were thousands that were there that, that had never bowed to Baal, that had never said that they will worship him, that kept their minds fresh, oh God. 
And God, Lord, I need you to inspire your people like that today. God, that we don't have to be afraid because you are still with us, that there's still a community, that there's still an army of people that will stand with us even when all look lost. God, just like you did it for Elijah, God, do it for those that are in trouble today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Glory be unto God. Amen. Well, people of God, I've given you what God has given me. And we have to be serious about mental health and mental illness. God is calling for people today, a people today that will encourage those that have focused on the things of this world that are affected by addiction, that are affected by depression. God, God is calling us, people of God, to do and be more for him. And I believe this. If we will set our compasses in the way of Christ, that he will bless not only us, but there will be testimonies that people are being changed. People are being delivered from mental health and mental illness. Well, go with God today. Go in the grace of God. And I pray this over your life, that God will do something extraordinary in and through your life. It's in Jesus name. Father God, I thank you for those that are gathered. I thank you for those that will view this. God, I pray that you will encourage them to encourage others, God, that they will focus their heart and mind upon those that are in need, oh God, and that they will begin to minister to them as you minister to them, oh God, that they will receive from heaven what thus said the Lord. God, as we leave this place, but never your presence, I pray that you will go with them and that you will strengthen them for your glory, God, and strengthen them for the call even on this day. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, until next time, be healthy, be whole, be blessed is my prayer for each of you. Have a great day.